if you think of San Francisco, what are the top five places that come to your mind? This would be my best guess. Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz, the uh, triangular trans-American building, Fisherman's Wharf where the seals are, or the trams on Powell Street. Today I'd like to introduce you to an area which should also find a place in the top five places to visit in San Francisco. And believe me, this place has a caliber to give you the taste of real San Francisco. I introduce you to the Mission District, or popularly called as the Mission. The Mission District is one of the most colorful places in the city. The population is usually Hispanic, but it's got its share of hipsters, artists, and professionals. It's one of the best places to hang out any time of the day or in the night. And it's got a notorious reputation when it comes to cuisine. I have spent four good years in this neighborhood. And I'd like to share with you today some of the places of interest and the rich cuisine it offers. Let's talk about places of interest. When you walk in the Mission District and look around you, you'll notice something. Murals. Murals are paintings on walls, and they're not just any paintings. Murals typically depict a very strong social message. The best mural I've seen so far is on 18th Street between Mission and Guerrero Street. And it's on a building called the Women's Building. This mural is spectacular, and it's a culmination of a multicultural and multi-generation collaboration of seven women artists that was painted in 1994. I can't describe it in words. You have to actually go and see to really appreciate it. Mission has one of the best parks in the city, which is called the Lotus Park. The Lotus Park offers you several striking features. Soccer field, basketball courts, tennis courts, a play area for children, for dogs even. The southern part of the, of the, of the uh, park is on a hill, so it gives you one of the best views of downtown San Francisco and of the Bay Bridge. It's one of the most favorite hangout places of the local mission people. I typically tend to hang out on the west side of the mission, which blends into the Castro district. As you may know, Castro is considered as a gay village of San Francisco. In my personal opinion, I think it's important for visitors who go to San Francisco to visit Castro. San Francisco, as we know, is one of the most tolerant cities in the entire world. And the Castro district, in many respects, signifies this tolerance. Let's talk about food. In my four years in the mission, I barely cooked. I spent money left and right. And believe me, it was every penny well spent. The food is that good. San Francisco has got a very good brunch culture. Brunch is something that you do on weekends, and it falls between lunch and breakfast. The best brunch place in the mission is called Boogaloo's. Mm -hmm. Boogaloo's has got a very unique cuisine. The servers are super friendly, but the wait can be long. So if you go to Boogaloo's, be sure to hit it before 9.30 a.m. I'm sure you had a burger in McDonald's or Jack in the Box. Have a burger in Big Mouth Burgers, and believe me, life can change. The chicken here is organically grown, and so is the beef. And their french fries has got quite a following. My personal favorite tends to be the salmon burger with coleslaw. I would not do justice to Mission if I don't talk about burritos. Have a burrito in any joint in Mission, and hands down, you will not put do not set your foot into a Baja Fresh or a Chipotle. La Taqueria, joined in the Mission District, figures in the top 50 places to eat in the Bay Area. After talking about burritos and burgers, the best way to end the speech would be talking about ice cream. The best ice cream place in the entire San Francisco area is a place called Mitchell's Ice Cream. It's got its only branch in the Mission District. My personal favorite here tends to be the mango ice cream. 
So any time of the day, any time of the night, you go to Mission District, you'll always see a crowd there. Really good ice cream. So the next time you go to San Francisco, be sure to take the Cesar Chavez exit on North 101. Take a left on Cesar Chavez exit. Keep on going till you hit Dolores Street. Take a right on Dolores Street and keep on going till you hit Dolores Park. In my recommendation, Dolores Park would be the best place to start your exploration of the Mission District. Thank you.